Hey everybody, Jeremy here bringing you another video. Today we're going to look at moving storage for a VM from one location to another. Proxbox makes this pretty easy. We're going to pick on this uh, Nextcloud clone VM. If we come in under hardware, we can see that the virtual hard disk is currently located on the ISO and templates storage location. And I'd actually rather have that on local. So to do this, we're going to come up here to disk action and say move storage. From here, we select our option for moving the storage and we'll say we're going to put it on local ZFS. Now there's one additional option here and that is to delete the source. After the disk is copied to the new location, it's going to delete from the old location. Now, of course, you want to take your normal precautions with this and make sure you have some sort of a backup in place in case something goes horribly wrong, which is not likely, but it could happen. So we're going to go ahead and say delete source. I know I've got this backed up and this was a VM I used for another video, so it's not of the utmost importance. And then we'll just click move disk. And as you can see, it's creating a full clone. It's going to transfer the storage and then it'll delete the old location. All right, so we've reached the end screen here. You can say, we can go ahead and close this. And if we look here, hard disk is located on local ZFS. You can also verify coming down here. And VM 10002, which is the next cloud clone. So the acid test for this, is going to be to go ahead and fire this up. And it should launch the same as normal. So far, so good. And in just another moment here, we'll have our VM up and running. All right, so Everything is good to go. And we can go ahead and launch our updates. So as you can see, this process is rather trivial. If you need to move the location of your virtual machines because of adding a new disk because of expanding an array or any of a number of other situations where you might need to relocate the disk um, again this is not something that you really have to do on a regular basis i would say i certainly have not really done this previous um, to just a few weeks ago when I discovered this. And, you, you know, it's one of those things that it's good to know it's there and maybe even to practice once in a while doing this. 
but again, it's not something that you're going to use in everyday operation of a Proxmox server. While this is running, I just want to pop over here to one of the other servers. Uh, we'll take a look here. Here's a pie hole container. And the same thing exists for containers. So this disk is currently on storage prox. And if we wanted to move it to local LVM, the process is the same. You select your disk in for a container, you come to volume action and the option is the same, move storage. You select your storage destination, delete source and move volume. And in just a moment or two, this will be done and we could fire up this pie hole container. All right, and just like that, we've got the task okay. We can close this window. We can see that the disk is now on local LVM. We can edit that. And there's nothing really we want to change there. So we can come here to console and go ahead and start the container. And it should boot up just as you would expect. And we're on our way doing the updates there. We come back to our next cloud clone. We can see that it's still running updates. So in a nutshell, that is moving storage from one uh, Proxmox volume to another. And hopefully you found this interesting and useful. If you have not done so already, please take a moment to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.